Hey y'all, Tammy here with Happy Art Creations. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my today. Today is my sweet husband's birthday and we're going to celebrate with his favorite meal today, which is meatloaf, mashed potatoes and corn. In that order. He loves it. So that's our dinner for tonight, but tomorrow we're going to go out and about and then I don't know what we're going to do, but we have plans to go do stuff tomorrow. Okay, it appears that I might be using my spinner, and you're correct. I'm going to use it differently, though. I'm going to use it. I'm going to do two different sides of color. Okay? I'm going to do some greens down here and some sky up here. I'm going to swipe across that way and swipe down this way. Now, y'all, you know how much I love my flowers and how I've been working with them and just having a blast. Here's this one. It's still curing, but you know I want to do it in the drizzle. I did one earlier. Uh-oh, not that one. I did that one earlier, and um, it's working out. Um, I can't show you right now just because it's over there drying and I don't want to mess with it. Really, I don't. I want to keep it steady. Um, the paint was super thick and super deep. So this one, the paint is different also. I'm not using the house paint. Um, at the time I started this, I didn't have any of the uh, Color Place Walmart house paint. So Hubby just brought me a can, but I'm not going to open it yet. I'm just going to use what I have. Um, Tammy Anderson has a recipe, which I didn't follow completely, but I took the idea of it because I remember what she said, basically, and I just took my Artist Law Flow, um, and, and I put it in <laughs> about this size cup. I think this is a five ounce cup, okay, and I filled it up to about right here, literally, of just plain paint. The rest of it was Floetrol, and I put maybe a teaspoon and a half of GAC. I, my GAC is just about gone because I had some issues with um, uh, cracking a little bit on the last one. Partially my fault because I did water it down. But the paint was still super thick, thicker than I wanted it for this technique. Okay, so um, I'm just spinning it. And I'm going to show you the... Um, the consistency. It's still very, very, very thick. See? Very thick. I mean, we're talking a mound on a mound on a mound on a mound on a mound. Okay? It's super thick. Um, it might be too thin still, but my last one was super thick, and I think it was even thicker than the regular paint, than the regular house paint. So, um, because this is regular paint, I'm going to go ahead and pop these bub bubs, bubbles. I hope everybody's having a grand day. It's really a nice day here. Basically, it's in the 80s. Humidity is stinky. I mean, you know, we are. Okay, we're just going to say it. It's summertime, so okay. I live in the south, and it's stinking hot in the south. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my beautiful blues up here, just like I did over there. And I'm going to put my greens here. And we're going to work on that. All right, so... On one of my other paintings, which you've not seen yet, but I have given you hints, I use this as one of my colors in it. And it is, and as you can see, it'll start doing its little bead. Boing, boing, boing. Anyhow, it says it's blue bonnet. Don't believe it. It's not blue bonnet. Okay, and that's actually going to be in my greens. Okay, so I'm going to use that in my greens. Um, and I'll just tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to put this on my base. So I'm only going about, oh, maybe up this high on this one. The other one I went a little bit higher, but I'm going to try something on this. Remember to go all the way out. This is the drizzle, the swipe, the wreck, and the spin technique. What I love about this is it reminds me so much of some stained glass. Okay, so the next one is, oh, on the floor. Did I dump it? Not totally. Wow, that was a close one. Did I get a hair might have gotten a little hair bubble. This one I need to... I'm not going to use this one. Last time it had... Um, it was just too thick and clunky. And I didn't like it. Alright, this here is... Um, it's really like light olive green with a little green flash in it. Um, let me add a little bit more in there. 
Um, I really like this. It just brings a nice highlight, okay? So, we'll just go on with that. And you know what? You can tell that if you look close, and I'll let you see it in just a minute, it kind of is doing a little fra fracturing, fracturing, where it kind of starts coming out on the edges. Look right there. You can even see it on that paint right there. I'm not against that. Um, it didn't do it up above for some reason. I didn't notice it up above, but definitely in the bottom. And if I get clumpies on this color, I'm okay. All right. These have been slightly sitting out <laughs> um, for about an hour or so. So they kind of got thicker. This is Parrot, and it was just really a pretty, 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 pretty color. And I just love it. Okay. Now I'm going to put um, some gold in this. Um, I don't have enough depth of color, so where is it? Now, honestly, this is not per mixture, so yeah, I'm just winging it. This here is a little bit of iridescent turquoise. Uh, that's very close to that other color, except it does have a green hue where the other one had blue. What else? <laughs> now that I threw away my other color, like real, oh no, here it is, my boss. It just was hiding. I knew I had another depth of color, and I really like this one. So, and this is just, um, what is it called? It's, oops, here it is, Art Minds Moss Green. Really, that's all. It was one of those on sale. It's a very nice color, very neutral in a sense. But, um, and again, I'm not worried about this blob. This one was made up, though, for the technique, and I think I just need to thin it down, but I'm not gonna, okay? I'm not gonna on this one. I should have. I am in experiment mode, okay? I am absolutely in experiment mode. Um the lid on that one okay I still feel like I need another so hang on let me go get ones that I've already mixed up that's a rojo red I don't want rojo red here is a pretty pretty no that's wrong bronze wrong one do, do, do. Ha, da, 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 da. Oh, here's something. Um, I kind of like that Rojo. I might put that into what the heck, right? What the heck? Because I'm not worried about making it brown or mushy or anything. And these were made up, so um, let me just go ahead and pretty pretty. I wanted a little bit. Yeah, they are kind of, it could be the, and these are going to be um, swiped down, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm just looking for a result. I don't know how I feel about that one. Huh, there we go. This Rojo Red is pretty. Let's see. Let's see. That's kind of deep. It's almost like a burnt sienna kind of sort of with a red tint. I'm going to add a little bit of the polycrylic just to thin this one down because I really don't want clumps of that. All right. Maybe a quarter of a teaspoon was put in. Okay. It's just my polyacrylic. That's all. And that feels good. And it's going to give me those boings right there. There we go. All righty. Da, da, da. Oh, I clumped anyhow. I've decided I don't like the stick because sometimes it you can't help it. And I don't like the stick on it. Okay. All right. So we got those done. I'm going to use the same um, uh, cell activator as I did before. Okay. So I've got three blues, most gorgeous, most gorgeous, and they turned out beautiful, okay? So, I've got here is the, I think I'm going to love this, sorry, squirrel! Um, this here is the phalo blue, I believe it's, um, uh, 
uh, goldens. I'm not really worried about these colors being overlapped. Yeah, this one's behaving a little bit more. Okay. Do, 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 do. This one is the beautiful, beautiful Naked Fusion, um, what is it? Sapphire. It is a gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous color. You can hardly go wrong with this one. Okay, and then I've got my Arteza, which I adore. This is the Glacier Blue, I believe. It's just enough light, right? Just enough. Just a little bit. Oh, there, I did it again. I did it again. Okay, so lids for these are, here's one. What are you? <sighs> That's not that one either. Where are my lids? Well, we'll set these over the side. I have lids for them. I just can't find them. All right, so I am going to take Golden's Prussian Blue, not Prussian, um, what are they called? Uh, Payne's Gray, right? Yeah, Payne's Gray. And I'm going to take this one stick. Wipe it up. I mean, why reuse? Get a new stick out, right? So there is my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You'll check out my recipe at the bottom, at your description. And I've got my card. And I had a little one or a chicken cord. All right, so let me move this stick because you know it's going to be a mess, right? All right. Oh, I probably just got, yep, I did. Let me move it just down here. All right. So what I'm going to do is pour my cell activator. And because it doesn't take that much, um, probably don't need to use too much. Okay. I'm going to set that card to my left hanging up. I am going to remove these things because we will spin in just a sec. Oh, my friend just brought over. I make homemade salsa. I mean, it's the kind that you say to die for kind of salsa. And I'm not bragging, but it's a Texas um, Tex-Mex style. Um, when we first moved to Tennessee, I mean, once you live in Texas and you get the, um, what's it call it? The Tex-Mex kind of. It's just like, okay, well, you just can't do anything wrong, okay? But they didn't have it up here in Tennessee. They didn't have anything like it, and I thought, well, I'm going to make it. Well, now I make it all the time, and I sell it to my friends. Well, anyhow, my friend, my neighbor and I, we kind of barter. <laughs> we kind of switch out, and she made this beautiful mustard pepper sauce. It's like a butter, she calls it, mustard butter, okay? Look how pretty that is. And I'm not worried about that dark. It turns out pretty, too. All right. Then I took a card. Where is that other one? All right. Do, do. And then she just sent over some chilla. It's called chilla sauce. Hey, I don't know. I'm going to try that, too. So we just kind of, I have friends, yeah, we switch out salsa for fresh eggs. You know, when you live in the country, that's kind of what happens, right? And so we live in the country. That didn't quite cover enough for me. So I'm going to add a little bit more here. Go like that. All right. Wipe between each one. I did wipe that one. It was a clean one. Okay. So this one has a little spot there and a little spot across here. So I'm going to probably do both at the same time. Let's see if I can get... Oops. A good good piece here. Mm -hmm. Got half 
of it still left. So I'm going to go with that one and lift it up gently. There we go. Okay. Did not want to mix and did not want to put any more. So that's gorgeous. Now I'm telling you, that's my sky. And I'll show you what I do with my sky. And now on my green, I'm actually going to go down. Okay? And it turned out really pretty. Last time, though, I did not do the, the um, changing it down. I just swept across. Well, this one, I want to go down. Ugh. Okay, that didn't work. I'm going to bring this here. I'm tired of bending, but the colors are gorgeous. Okay. Pretty though. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to keep it laying down, and that's what was my problem. There we go. That is gorgeous. Like, oh my, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. And this is gonna turn out better. Keep it flat. You have more control. You see how I take the paper towel and I just bend it over the card and pull. Okay, so I'm going to switch the edges and turn it to this other end because it's starting to bend a little. Fluff up, but I have used this multiple times, so these cards are worth getting. Alright, here we go. Starting down, letting it ride across. You want it to ride across. Alright, I'm going to throw this paper away and get a new one. did that one light on purpose because so I want to come back here I'm gonna cut this one in half again do, 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 do. you've been a great ace of hearts for me I love you much okay I'm nearly done so what I do not quite I don't want to add any more to my card right so I make sure I have plenty and I need to get this area here and then I'll come back and do this and just softly bring it across. Take your paper and bend it over. Make sure it's clean before you dip it back into your cell activator. Okay. Almost done! Look how pretty! Look how pretty! Okay, I'm in love. Now this one had some white from underneath, so I'm going to move it up like that. Alright, see? All good and clean. All good and clean. Um, really don't have enough, well, I have a little bit of cell activator, so let's go ahead and put it back in. Even that little bit is worth saving, because it'll, and it doesn't gunk up so long as you don't double dip with the white paint. Okay? Oops. It almost All right. Come up here and just wipe that off. There we go. All done with that, I'm going to put the lid on. Those ones that I have the lids for. Now, is this not gorgeous or what? That is very, very pretty. Let me bring it down. Oops, wrong way. Can you see how pretty that is? Now, the part up here I'm going to wreck was just a little bit. Where's my little stick? Where are you? There you are. My, oh, there's my blue. I was looking for that lid. I know. Squirrel, squirrel. Okay, got it. And <laughs> found my parrot, so let's put the parrot on. They were just hiding. They were just hiding. All right, got it. All right, so this one, I just want to kind of put some swirls, like kind of maybe a cloud. I like this over here, but it's not as um, detailed. So this is where I want to put some swirls that to make it more so when we spin we actually have a little bit of cloud like hmm right and I'm not so fan of this part of it and look at those clouds right there so there that's the worst of that now on this one I love 
and I've got this right here. You see it? Oop, there we go. I'm going to take that and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wreck it with that. So let me put my favorite stick away. I'm going to wreck it down. Dun, dun. Wreck it down. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? I really ripped into it and did not mean to. Well, okay, it's been ripped. So let's see what happens. I'm not going to say I dislike it. I just took away oh, all my stuff. Let's see. All right, well, this is the other side. It took all the green. Hmm, I did it, but I'm not going to say I'm not going to like it. I'm going to just say, okay. Cleaning up a few things. Crud balls, right? Tammy, what were you thinking, you doodle bug? Alright, so that doesn't have the colors in it. I want, don't want to put the blue in. Definitely want some of this. I guess I'm just going to have to wing it on this one. Okay. Add the color back in because I'm a, a dingleberry. Look at that sky. <laughs> if I'm going to look at something, look at that sky, right? Okay, it's gorgeous. The sky is beautiful. So those places that are heavy in, in white, I'm just going to come back in and cover with the greens. Okay. Put a little bit of that parrot back in. I did wipe my stick, so... Yeah, normally I wouldn't wouldn't do this. I wouldn't have to. So, okay. So we did it. So I won't do that again. Lesson learned, right? I mean, come on. Lesson learned. There are worse things in life than that. But I might like it after I spin it, if you know what I mean. Okay. Um. <laughs> was going to add gold and I still do. Work that in. I'm not going to put it on top. Yeah, I'm really bummed about what I just did. Oh, gosh, right? Such a dingbat. I mean, it's going to be pretty. Look at it. Right? I mean, how could it not be? I mean, it's gorgeous. So, but we're not done. So, yeah, I'm still messing with it because I want what I want. <coughs> Excuse me. Where did that stick go? There it is. Rawr. Do I want to put a little bit of the Rojo Red in? Or maybe some more green. Because this is going to be spun, just like the others. I love those colors together. Shoot, I might find a new color palette, right? Alright. Let's cover that up. Close it. Okay. Get my sticks out of the way. Get my parrot out of the way. You know, after these things dry, it's still very pretty. The other one I know I'm going to have to touch up after it dries. Okay, so basically this is wrecked. Are you ready to move it? Let's go for it. Let me bring it back out. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I'm such a ditz. I thought it would work. Here we go. I don't know about you, but those colors are magnificent together. Let's look. Look at that. See it? And this turned out gorgeous. Let's go this way just a hair to bring it back the other way. Because after this, I'm not doing any more. I'm going to be putting my balloons in, my flowers. So I'm trying to get some extra paint off because last time it was so thick that the paint started to, to dive in. 
Wow. Okay, y'all. So you see what we got here, right? All right. No, I got a big old fat mess. There we go. All right. So what colors would be so pretty, pretty, pretty with that? Oh, I'm still feeling like I need to do something. So, I've taken this, this one right here. It's plastic, okay? And I've rounded the tip because I want a specific look. I'm hoping I can get it. Hmm. I'm not getting what I'm afraid to do. I'm not afraid, but I'm afraid. <laughs> Let me get my paper towels over here so I can reach for them. All right. I think I'm going to wait till after it's dry or not. Heck, should I? You know what I'm trying. I'm trying to... Let's stop. I'm ruining it. So we're going to stop and just pretend that's not there for right now. But look at that sky. That sky is drop dead gorgeous. Okay? All right, you can't see a whole lot. Where's my stick? This is what I did last time, so this is not a new thing, okay? Now... I'm going to go through and bring it down and around and kind of join these like this. See how the, and I'm not cleaning my stick, okay? Maybe that will cover that up. All right, see this stuff right up in here? I like, it's like those, um, what is it, those little weeds that have the little burrs that catch you <laughs> and they get stuck in your socks, right? So, or like wheat has those little ditties. So I did this on the last one and I love it. All right, I have fixed my boo-boo, so I feel better. Oh, it's hot in my office and I'm gonna go turn on a little bitty fan just to move some air. Hang on just a second. Okay, here we go. Hopefully it won't mess it up. All right, my next part is, is I'm gonna do some flowers, okay? Now what I found last time is that my flowers kind of sunk in and generally you know guys I've done this before but I've not done this okay so this is a little bitty different so oh my god that's gorgeous um, I want to put tiny tiny little flowers and blow them and I used this to blow it instead of a straw because it was just easier for me for moi Man, that is a gorgeous palette. Okay, so what I did last time, and I'm thinking I don't have to use white underneath my flower, and I think I'm going to get my thinner paints that are over here. Do I want a... This is dark violet. Do I want to do dark violet? Do I, do I, do I? How about... A touch of orange at the bottom. And I mean, little dot. If it's going to come out. Nope. Let me a stick here and clean it out. There it is. You know, I shake these and I clean them out, but... Okay, a little dot of orange, because I like orange over a, with blue, right? But you can't always do orange and blue, right? So I'm going to do orange, blue, not blue, um, all right, hear me out. I haven't learned my other secret I've been doing, I'm using alcohol inks or acrylic inks, because they have alcohol, and I'm using them as a cell activator, which they work. But I'm thinking I want to be able to control it. So this, I'll show you on another video what these are. 
All right, then I'm going to put that right. Look how little it is. Isn't it pretty? I'm put my lid back on. Y'all, I can't see it. I'm about blind. My eyes have allergy eyes. All right. So, normally it's not that difficult. It's just because I can't see right now. Um, and here is Amsterdam white. So now it is. Don't worry about it sinking. Here's a little bit of white because I do want to bring up some white and some pink in it. And it is. See how nice it goes in? Woo! And a touch of dioxazine purple. And let's see what we get. We'll put that up at the tip. Okay, we'll see. I don't know. That's the only ones I have. So, other than a blue, and I don't want to use a blue. Alright. Here we go. I'm blue. I'm with you. I don't know any more than you. Oh, look! And it is sinking, so let's see what it does. going to use is my this one I think I'm just going to use my stick with this green right here okay normally I would have I think I did last time I put it here but I do not want to get into that white I do not want to make it dirty it is kind of sinking so let's try that bring it down Do that again. And because it's sinking, I kind of think I want it to sink back in. And it's going to sink back in on itself. So let's see. I don't know. Let's bring that green. Y'all, this is how I do it. I just play until I find what I want. I'm not a big fan of that, but I did some squirrelies on another one earlier, and I kind of liked it. Someone thought I was using my finger, but I wasn't. That's pretty. Let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky. I still think it's going to... I think I'm going to have to do these while it's dry, but look at that. But it's a neat idea, and I love this. I mean, that can't be any more gorgeous. This is just a wee little 5x7. Um, I don't want to overdo, you know, just bring this up and kind of fill in the color just on top. Because one thing about this is that the color, you know, maybe bring it back down like that. The color sits. There we go. This is actually staying better than the other one. So I'm going to move on and just try it again. And I'm only going to use the ones with the cell activator. So we're going to do pink. I like the white, the orange though, but I don't have an orange made up of it. Maybe I'll try. Here's my. Oh, here's a pretty orange. Um, one of the. I don't want to get that one dirty. So, I'm going to do. This is for my paints to set on. If I can get it. Okay, got a card here. A uh, card here. These cards don't work. Anyhow, they really bug me. Anyhow, so there we go. So I've got my white cell activator, my doxazine purple. I have got my um, quadracridone magenta, and I've got my green. And I've got my orange, which I'm going to just set over here because I kind of like that orange against the blue. What do you guys think? Okay. Oh, yeah. This is that, um, I don't know, 
Y'all, for some reason, I can never remember, but I want to call it tangerine, but it's, you know, special orange. I don't know what to call it. All right, so I'm going to try this one with this. Bit. Oh, my gosh, that is so gorgeous. I'm hoping it stays. And look at this. That is so pretty, pretty. All right, I only want, I want the orange and then the pink, then the white, then the purple, right? All right. Here we go. And no white underneath it. That's what I did last time. I think I had too much. So you see how much I didn't use. And I'm going to set that on my pretty little board. Then we said the pink. See how it's already spread, right? So let's put the pink up here. Just a wee bit. The white. And don't let me forget my green. See how pretty that green looks? The white and and the purple, purple, and then the touch of green, which I'm going to use this like I did last time. Hopefully, it won't come down too much. Do it ahead of time this time. And it is sinking, and I'm not touching the. But when I blow. I'm, I'm hoping for a good result. Right? Okay. There's my paper towel. I'm trying to keep things close. Let me move you out of the way. Decided I don't want to use you. Right. Here we go. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, it's even brighter. Wow. Woo. Let's see. See, it's starting to draw in. Kind of like what it does on, if you think about it, what it does on the, um, before you spin. And I do not want to spin these afterwards, but look how bright that orange is. Alright, so, I'm going to keep doing what I did before. Much more careful, I think. And I'm not worried about that. Okay. So, it's not what I'm wanting, but let's move it around. Let's see what we did last time. Kind of give it some dimension, right? Yeah, I'm not real fond of that one, but I do like the blue. Let's bring the white down, why not, right? Alright. The glare is awful, even for me, y'all. Here we go. That's a better non-glare for me. Okay. I'm not totally hating this, y'all. Okay. It's definitely what I would call abstract beautiful, right? Look at that. Besides, God's garden is awesome, right? Let me blow on this other one. as it sinks. It's still most beautiful, so I'm not going to say. How about if we start off first with the the pink? Hmm, or the dark? <laughs> let's do the, let's start down here. Right, because I'm just playing, I'm going to do it like that. <laughs> 
I mean, why not, right? All right. And I've got my beautiful white, which I'm going to put maybe just right there. And my green. It's sinking. It is sinking. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, I like that one. I'm trying to blow gently, like you're supposed to with the balloon. I like that combination. How about you? Mm -hmm. Not a big fan of all that right there. I think it needs some more. It's got too much orange, I think. Let's see what happens. Heck, right? But I am definitely in love with this technique of the, the swiping. Of course, this one's a goofball, but... Let's add some pink. It's not awful. Alright, Dan, squeeze. There we go. That's pretty. Look at this one disappear though. And I love it. There we go. We'll see. It's going to draw up anyhow, right? So let's try. Petals down. Let's try this one. Hmm. Now this reminds me of a Dutch iris. Very gorgeous. Very gorgeous. All right. So definitely need more green. going to say I hate it because I don't hate it for sure. Now this has got a skinnier tip and it's only because I want to maybe be a little bit more decisive. middle one I'm really not a fan of, so let's see what I can do to fix it, right? Oh, there we go. Cool. Bring this down like that. Okay. I'm okay with that. Let's bring some of that green up. <laughs> it right smack dab in the only pink that was there on the table. Um, okay. All right. So this is a work in progress. I don't hate it. I absolutely do not hate it. And I love this down here. I'm going to bring you up. I mean, technically, I bet I could put some yellow. Ooh, where's my yellow? They call it yellow. Oh. 
beautiful stick that's been cleaned off. This is just, I think, Sunshine Yellow with Naked Fusion. Just a touch. I mean, just a touch in here. A touch. Oh. Oh, that was not a touch. Dang. Maybe I can get some of that out. Nope. That's okay. It'll sink. <laughs> when I take my skinny stick and manipulate. This is gorgeous. Right? Oh my gosh, look at that. I think I found how to... Okay, I don't want to muddle. Did I make a bubble? Okay, I think they're starting to stop because my paint is thinner. It's not as thick. The other one nearly swallowed them up. And I mean, it's pretty, and then it kind of spread, but yeah, look at that. So, I'm going to take my, my stick with my green and get me a new paper towel. What I'm doing is I'm trying to um, make a little bit of leaf. all dry well. I mean, there's no guarantee. Let's put some right here, right? And all this is going to go together, so I'm not really, you know, too worried about it. But I am in love with this. And I will be working on some, uh, what is it, uh, new renovations with this because I think it's gorgeous. And I think it's gorgeous, like beyond, it's very, very pretty. Now, maybe color choices in this might be a little different. This is absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, now, now I'm diddling, y'all. Now I'm diddling. That's so pretty right in there. Mm. Leave it alone. Y'all, I'm going to call this done. Excuse me. I'm going to call that done. Because if I don't, I'll play with it and I'll ruin it. But, yeah, it is falling in. But it's still kind of holding. And I like what it looks like. So, if I have to touch up after it dries, I will. And we'll bring you in with this yellow over here. Where are you, lid for my yellow? Oh man, there it is. No, that's for my other thing. Heck, I don't know. What color are you? Are you? No, you're square. Oh well, we're good. I will find it after we stop. All right, these bottles were are actually for um, water, alcohol inks. I mean, okay, and. So I tried out some alcohol inks for a cell activator on something I'm doing, and it works wonderfully. And I can put in just a wee bit, as you saw, little dots. I don't know. Look at it. I'm afraid to touch it, but 
I'm just going to leave it. I think it's gorgeous. I think there needs to be a little bit more green there. And if I don't do that now, I'll mess with it. Well, I do. So let me get my favorite stick. I just think there needs to be a little bit more green around the, like I did on that one. <laughs> See what I mean? And maybe it'll make it more. Some more green up here. Ooh, very pretty, pretty. Oh, here I am. I see something and I want to get, I'm going to stop. All right, y'all, let me bring you in for a close-up. Okay, I'm bringing it up. Look how pretty she is. Let me turn it towards you like that. She is very, very, very pretty. Gorgeous, in fact. Okay. So I'm going to stop the video, but first I'm going to say, guys, we're almost to 500. Okay, so if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and share with friends if you would like pretty please, and subscribe if you're not already. And I want to thank all, all, I want to thank all my subscribers that I have now. I am very thankful for you. You make my heart sing, and you are very kind with your words. Um, wow, this is gorgeous. So, um, I like what I can do with that swiping and everything, even though this one a little wacky doodle. Eh, okay, it went wacky doodle. Life goes on. That was my fault, but I like it, actually. So, here we go. All right, I'll see you next time here on Happy Art Creations. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Bye now. Goodbye.